Recently, the news site Vice released a documentary about the growing subculture known as incels. Incel, or involuntarily celibate, are a group of primarily online teenage and young adult men who have bonded over their shared resentment towards women for refusing to date them, society for acknowledging women's sexual agency, and oftentimes themselves. This is Spotcast. I'm your host, Kate Orta, and I'm here with my two guests, August Macavo and Xavier Martinez. So guys, before this documentary, have you heard about incels? Um, not at all. I hadn't known anything about it, I hadn't known what it, what it meant, and I hadn't known um, how dangerous they could be. I had known about men who are like this, but I didn't know it was that it had its own name, that it was this actual culture of people who are like this. Yeah, and let's emphasize like some things that they've done in the past with how dangerous they have been. We had people like Elliot Rogers, who after getting involved in incel culture, um, ended up on a shooting spree. And then some other people who like get into this and then end up you know, running cars into pedestrians. Um, with this subculture being so large, how, why do you think that people don't know that much about it? because it's just so hard to tell if someone is an actual incel or not until until they out they actually say it or they see something like a shooting spree happen and they blame it on women yeah yeah before we get into the like shooting spree level um august are there any like signs of incels that we could be watching out for yeah um so some signs of an incel would be a lot of them tend to stay inside a lot they isolate themselves from society um and they don't tend to go out um they also use a lot of like specific language and stuff yeah so we see a lot of incels use words like stacy for women who they view as like stereotypical women who refuse to date them um or a chad for the men who are dating those women um So, Xavier, thinking back on, like, your own experiences, have you ever encountered anyone who was an incel? I luckily can say that I have not, but at the same time, uh, I can say that I almost don't know if I have or not because I've never had a friend who's who's ever hated women that much, and so I've never been able to pick up that I'm talking to an incel. Yeah, so say one of your one of your friends was um, kind of showing some early signs of like what it's like to be an incel. Um, what is something that you might do to address that? Uh, I wouldn't treat them as this bad guy. I would just try to still treat them as my friend and try to talk them through it. And then maybe if they went through a, a breakup, I'd try to t- uh, talk with them, give them some advice and just help them through this. Yeah, how about you, August? Have you ever encountered an incel? Um, not to my knowledge. I imagine I've probably uh, seen something they've written online, whether like a text post or a comment on something. Um, but I don't believe I've ever actually interacted with one, um, to my knowledge. Yeah, and like we said, they can be kind of camouflaged. Like it's hard to tell um, whether or not like this aspect of their personality, whether it's in its early stages or its late stages, is always apparent. Um, so getting back to kind of what you said about like seeing stuff online we saw a lot like through the documentary that that was a space where people were kind of cultivating that culture um do you think like people online or internet people who support like internet forums where they might be meeting up like reddit have a responsibility to keep their eye out for groups that might lead to some violence towards women like we've seen uh yeah i feel like I feel like that's for every internet user pretty much. You have to be aware of who's out there and be aware of what you're seeing um, and make sure that you don't like trust everything because not everything's going to be true. People can lie about plenty of things and people can say plenty of things. Um, and I feel like it's, it's very important to be cautious on the internet because you really don't know who you're talking to. Yeah, how about you, Xavier? It's definitely someone, something that people should, uh, I should be careful about. And like I said, that people should be careful about who they're talking to and then uh, how they're t- and talking to them and 
just be wary that these kind of people do exist out there. Yeah, and so, August, I wanted to get your opinion on this. Um, If you were to come across someone who was maybe showing some signs of being an incel, what's something that you could do, maybe as a peer, or just as, like, someone online to do to, like, help them or, you know, kind of take action before that? Um, well, I guess I'd just try to talk to them and try and, um, talk about what they're doing and the consequences of what they're doing. Um and like what what they're thinking about what they're doing could lead to uh and just try to convince them not to go down that path yeah because like education about this topic because it is so um it's not talked about as much as we kind of expect it to be is so important because a lot of times people may not be aware that that's where their actions or their you know mannerisms or their internet habits might be leading them do you guys have anything else to add as a, a male, I feel that this could be something that puts a bad rap on on actual good on actual good uh, men out there who don't want to do nothing but just have a simple conversation with women. But these women who probably have had a bad experience with an incel have this this I- and this idea on men that that she's just as scared to talk to other men because of this one incel. Yeah, well, and as, you know, a woman, that can be a really scary situation to be in. Like, you don't want to put yourself at risk. So that's a really good point. And that will do it for this episode of Spotcast. I'd like to thank my guests, August and Xavier. I'm Kate Borda from Spot 127. This is Spotcast.